Welcome back. I've got so many video ideas that, frankly, I'm overwhelmed. It's not just about what I teach in a classroom setting. It's about what I practice on a day-to-day -day basis to maximize my health and tell you hear news. Otherwise, it's stuff that can make a difference, a valuable difference, which is a point worth mentioning to every person I pass by and I can just no longer hold it in. So these videos have become that outlet. And frankly, uh, you know, this is game-changing information, information that could improve not only the, the performance of top athletes, but even those who suffer day-to-day -day with chronic illnesses um, and utilized by average Joe gym-goer. I mean, it, it, it applies to everybody. It's really worth a lot of money, and this information is gold. And I'm about to drop it on you for free. Today I'll be talking about vinegar. So, it's pretty much been used as folk medicine, even you even be used as a cleaner. Virtually every household in the United States probably has a jug or a bottle of vinegar located somewhere in it. Uh, vinegar has a huge place in the history of health and medicine, really the entire world, and today it's going to receive its endorsement by me. So, there's three overview topics that I'm going to be discussing today. Um, number one, weight loss and potential conjunctive therapy for type 2 diabetics. Number two, nitric oxide booster, vasodilation enhancer. Okay, and number three, weightlifters dream, an insulin receptor enhancer. So those three things about vinegar. Big stuff. So in folk medicine, vinegar has been used to treat people with type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, or insulin-resistant diabetes, is a disease whose symptom is the body's inability to recognize insulin, which is used to get glucose into cells as energy. Glucose entering cells has two effects. Either it's used immediately, or it gets stored uh, either short-term as glycogen, or potentially even longer-term as fat. Studies have shown that as much as a tablespoon of vinegar uh, at meal times may reduce not only blood sugar levels post-meal, but potentially even blood triglycerides, or fat. This is a pretty big deal, but how can we use this news? It's definitely not a shortcut or even a long-term solution to the type 2 diabetes epidemic, but over a duration of time, a couple of months as shown in the study, if you take one tablespoon, you take a one tablespoon dose of vinegar, um, you know, about two to three times a day just at mealtime, this could lead to a potential drop, a small drop, but a potential drop in weight and assistance in stabilizing blood sugars. Both of those are factors for healthy weight. Vinegar does this by increasing the cell's sensitivity to insulin. Vinegar is converted to acetate in the blood. Some vinegars are even labeled as acetic acid, but at doses of about one tablespoon and with meals that have high carbohydrate energy, vinegar actually allows more glucose into cells, dropping both blood glucose and blood insulin levels. That's basically what fancy and expensive diabetes medications aim to do. And here it is, for free. And it's no wonder, for centuries, people have been adding vinegar to naturally high carbohydrate meals like sushi rice or you know, a Mediter Mediterranean baguette dipped in or topped in bruschetta. Uh, vinegar has been a staple to cuisines, to cuisines throughout history, and rightfully so. Even now, drinks like kombucha, which is a fermented drink, real popular with hippies and health gurus for decades, um, it's now becoming mainstream and you can find it in stores. People are making it at home and selling it in growlers at bars and groceries here in Austin. It's a fermented drink, fermented in the same way grapes, apples, and rice ferment into their respective vinegars. Kombucha is literally vinegar drink. And surprise, actually does have health benefits. Turns out the hippies were right all along. The second point about the health benefits of vinegar, it enhances the body's ability to naturally vasodilate to relax its vascular system, the blood vessels. It does this by increasing the uptake of an enzyme responsible for vasodilation. Studies even suggest that this effect is more potent with foods that have been shown to increase the amount of this enzyme. So, foods that increase the amount of the enzyme and vinegar to help increase its uptake, that's like a vascular system one-two punch combo, both of which are helpful in vasodilation. When do our arteries relax, though? Or better yet, when does our body actually use this powerful natural vasodilation mechanism? Vasodilation occurs naturally in very small bouts. It could be when you're sitting on the couch and an area of your body signals that it's lacking enough oxygen. Your body does what it can to get blood where it needs to be 
um, you know, when those signals arise. If you ascend a flight of stairs, boom, your heart hits the dilate button and legs, you know, the legs are probably asking for more blood flow. The, the heart responds by, you know, let's, let's vasodilate. But something else actually sends this signal much more powerfully. It's called cardiovascular exercise. When you engage in rigorous cardiovascular activity, your body has to dilate the blood vessels as much as naturally possible because it's now switched over to its highest energy output mode. It's switched to aerobic, meaning air, oxygen. Our bodies are like a furnace, and fat is the fuel. The only thing we really need to continue this fuel system is oxygen and water. And for the duration of cardio, you know, your breathing is going to increase just to maintain that oxygen level. So if you're an athlete, a cardio junkie, or just someone who likes to exercise, having more of this naturally occurring vasodilator will always show benefit. It's really, really powerful stuff. So powerful, you could bottle it and you could sell it for a lot of money, like a workout supplement. Um, it's so powerful that if you were a heart patient and you had bouts of chest pain and you needed immediate uh, alleviation, you could take this in pill form and voila, chest pain dissipates. It's so powerful that if you were a professional athlete trying to set a record, this might be the natural boost you need to do so. Finally. If all that wasn't worth enough, here's something for the weightlifters out there. I was recently watching a video of one of the big heavyweight bodybuilders on YouTube. The dude's channel might be the most popular one out there, and he's made a name for himself, uh, especially in the pro scene. But he was talking about all the supplements, legal and illegal, that one would take to become as big as possible. Without going into that laundry list, I will point out something that he said that was a big deal. He said that bodybuilders, when strolling through the black market stuff, will actually find and take injectable insulin. That's the same insulin that type 1 diabetics have to take, and that type 2 diabetics, after years of being a type 2 diabetic, are sometimes advised by a doctor to take. It's the same thing that our pancreases make, except more of it. As a bodybuilder, your goal is to maximize your glucose-based energy system. All weightlifting is anaerobic, non-cardio, and it utilizes carbohydrate energy, glucose, which is converted into glycogen, the primary source of muscle energy. At some point, you can only put so many carbs into the body, and your pancreas can only produce so much insulin. But if you pay a bunch of money and take illegal outside insulin, you can get more energy into cells, which means you get to lift more. What you could do, though, is take something that naturally increases your cell sensitivity to your body's own insulin, which could potentially be just as effective. Let me be clear on this. Some bodybuilders pay a hefty price, illegally, for outside insulin, risk the health effects of injecting and having excess insulin in their body, and I'm here to tell you that the same effect could be produced for just pennies and naturally with a one tablespoon dose of apple cider vinegar as a pre-workout supplement. Boom! Alright, hit subscribe. Tell a friend because we got a lot to cover here. Keep on watching. Nom, nom, nom.